Well, he is indeed. He's probably, well, for me, I suppose, one of the most beautiful leopards that I've also spent time around. He's a really good-looking fella, but you can also see he's a rather hot and tired fella too, so he's having a bit of a snooze now. There are a couple of cars that will be coming to join us just now, so maybe that might prompt him into waking up out of his slumber, but I think we're going to see this for a while. It's still quite steamy out here and quite warm, and so he's in a perfect place with a bit of shade. I would imagine that that soil down there is quite cool because it's been in shade most of the day, and so he can have a really nice rest here before then going and getting water a little bit later towards the sort of sunset time. So it's going to be a patience game for us. We're going to have to just sit here and wait with him for a while, and then eventually he should get get up and maybe move around. Riti, I, no, I don't think Tumba is marking territory just yet. I mean, if we're not seeing it from Osana, and and we certainly, I don't think we'll be seeing it from Tumba for quite some time. Remember that he is six months younger than Hosanna, and at the moment, you know, Tingana is being quite polite to the two boys, and he's allowing them both to spend time here, even though they are no longer with their mothers. And so marking territory is a surefire way to get yourself booted away from the area and get yourself a bit of a hiding from dad and so it's better just to say stay nice and chilled and, and, and relaxed and under the radar bulk up get bigger and then only start trying to compete a little bit later in life and so for a while he's going to be I think still not scent marking he'll only probably do it much later in life the interesting thing though is while we talk about scent marking and young males and kind of competition and how that all works I believe quarantine and Tingana are having a big spat at, as we speak not too far from us at, they're on in Coral at the moment and Tingana had a kill there and Quarantine sounds like is trying to steal it from Tingana which is a turn up for the books and it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out and who then gets pushed where because at the end of the day Quarantine is also bulked up a lot he's quite a big guy and, and he's at the end of the day finding Tingana in his territory that's an area that Quarantine actively is patrolling and so I'm going to be very interested to see how this plays out during the course of the afternoon it's obviously blow by blow updates on the radio so I'll be able to kind of keep us up to date as we go through the drive but for the meantime we're going to concentrate on Tumba you can see he's pretty much straight below us and and yet he's still completely comfortable you would think that a leopard would be a little bit more nervy of this big vehicle and voices straight above him but you can see he is not at all worried by us he's having a really good nap every now and then his eye opens there's a little robber fly that is flying around there and so he's having a thing where he kind of wakes up as the robber fly kind of comes through now Paula in terms of leopards sharing territory no not really so you'll have a situation where you'll have overlapping territories to a degree in, in terms of the females sometimes they'll kind of overlap a little bit if we look at a case in point is somebody like Tandi and Kuchava or Tandi and Shadow they busy overlapping a little bit we're seeing Shadow and Tandi in the same places and the same thing with Kuchava and Tandi, you know, they're overlapping around Chitwa and, and Torchwood area. But at the end of the day, not really. They don't really want to overlap with anybody else. They want to share a territory. And in males, in, under no circumstance do they want to share with other males because any other male is mating competition. It is dangerous for their offspring. And it, at the end of the day, is also utilizing their food and water. And so males tend to be a lot more upset about a female I mean another male being in their territory then females females tend to overlap a little bit more than what we see with the males although in saying that this northern Sabi Sands area and in fact the Sabi Sands in general is a really interesting dynamic on leopard because the density is so high it means that you've got a situation where a number of males are overlapping with one another they are finding a lot of competition in the area and ultimately they're trying to extend their territories as much as possible but still bumping into each other so if you think about just this northern sector just male leopards in a sort of 10,000 hectare block which is 20,000 acres it's very small if you think that the leopards in the Kalahari area some of those leopards will have almost 200,000 acres as a territory a single male leopard now you come into this area and in that 10,000 hectares or 20,000 acres you have Tamba, Hosanna, Gajima, um, this unknown male in Buffel's Hook, you've got Mvula, Tingana, Quarantine, Anderson, and so there is a lot, a lot of young males that are around, or males in general around. There's also Shavambalan on the, on the outskirts, if you think about that too. So there's a number of youngsters and, and, and older leopards, and they're all sharing a very small area. So you're having a situation where it's quite tough for these guys and it's going to be interesting to see how the dynamics play out uh, what, I, what has really surprised me is that Anderson has not pushed any further than
Mm. You were saying earlier, if a car arrives, we might see him just put his head up and have a little look around and see what's going on. So he's just a curious cat. He always has been. I see he's got a little nick on his nose. So he's obviously had a little scrap with somebody and got a little sort of cut on his nose there, which is to be expected of a male leopard. His perfect kind of coat is slowly but surely starting to get little scratches and marks, which is pretty much par for the course and you'll get a number of those as life goes on. I wonder if maybe that wasn't from the multitude of multiple leopard sites things that he's been seen in. So he's been seen around Hosanna, he's been seen around Tandi obviously, his mom, he's been seen around Tingana, he's been seen around Kuchava and so he's got a number of kind of different leopards that he spent time around and I wouldn't be surprised one of them just swatted a little bit at him and gave him a little cut on his nose. It's not bad though, it was just superficial and he'll be absolutely fine. So he's going to be But look at those eyes, isn't he beautiful? And you can see he's just watching the new people that arrived. Of course, he's got to inspect everybody and make sure that he analyzes everyone so that they're not in any way a problem. Right, now, while we kind of watch Tumba gazing around and checking out his environment, oh, and he's up and moving, so maybe he's gonna walk towards the waterhole. But while he's moving, I believe Jamie's lines are also on the move, so let's go across to her.